in our episode today we are going to continue with integration 2 and I would like to first of all do a recap of the previous episode where we looked at change of the variable and the, my learners out there wherever you are I told you to help me out and check out with these two numbers we want to see uh, what one will do uh, with the, that first question where you were told to uh, find uh, the integral of x plus 2 into x minus 1 power 4 dx and under change of variable for this type of question I expected one to look at the expression with the highest power x plus 2 its power is 1 and x minus 1 its power is 4 so uh, you do uh, take this as your variable to let so one would let uh, let for example you be x minus 1 when you let uh, u to be x minus 1 on differentiating the u gives you 1 the derivative of x then with respect to x the derivative of 1 is 0 so at hand you have dx uh, being equal to the u don't forget to make x the subject x uh, when negative 1 shifts to this side it's negative when it shifts uh, to the left hand side you will get x as u plus 1. Then you make the substitution. Remember, we are changing the variable from x to u. From x to u. So the integral of x plus 2 into x minus 1 power 4 dx becomes the integral, the integral of where there is x we are putting u plus 1. Uh, there is a two waiting, and we inside here where there is x, we put u plus 1 minus 1 power 4, and you're replacing dx. Remember, we said dx is due. So our integral now will be, uh, I want to emphasize that x is now being replaced by u. But x in terms of u is u plus 1. So where there is x, I've put u plus 1, and the two weighting comes. In this place where there is x, I put u plus 1, and the negative weighting comes into play. But uh, uh, there is a power for outside, and uh, then we replace that with the du, the dx. And this gives me uh, the quantity as u plus 3. And this way we'll have u only because 1 minus 1 is 0, so remain with u, but raised to the power 4 du. So we have simplified our integral to the expression u power 4 into u plus 3 du. And when you expand that, you get u power 5 plus 3 u power 4 uh, du. Uh, when you integrate that one, you get u power 6 over 6 plus plus 3 uh, u power 5 over 5 add a constant because you do not have uh, limits but recall that your u was uh, your u was the x minus 1 don't forget we need to replace it uh, the LCM here is 30 if you're careful and there is a common factor u power 5 inside there. 30 by 6 is 5. I remain with 5u plus 30 by 5 is 6 giving me 18. Uh, plus a constant replace back what u is. Uh, that gives me that gives me x minus 1 u power 5 into 5 into x minus 1 plus 18. Uh, all over a 30 plus a constant of integration that resultantly gives us uh, that resultantly gives us if you're careful we'll have uh, uh, x minus 1 power 5 a to uh, 5x 5x is the only term there there is a minus 5 plus 18 plus 18 minus 5 plus 18 inside there out of 30 plus a constant that leaves us with x minus 1 
power 5 into a 5x plus a 13 out of 30 plus a constant. Therefore, the integral of x plus 2 into x minus 1 power 4dx rounds up to 1 over 30 into um, 5x plus 13 into x minus 1 power 5 plus a constant. That is the first question I left you with. Going into evaluation a bit, where I told you to evaluate from negative 3 over 8 to 0 of x plus 3 out of the square root of 2x plus 1 dx. This is another interesting bit in the, the, the subsection of change of variable, where the expression we want to handle or the one we want to take as an option to abbreviate is in the denominator. So it's better. It's better. Don't fear. Don't get hesitation because the quantity with the uh, fractional power is in the denominator. Don't get hesitation. Please let it to be. Let it to be the variable you're changing. Let, for example, t change of variable. Any letter can be used. Let t be the square root of 2x plus 1. Uh, before we differentiate, get rid of that fractional power. Square root of a number, remember, is that number power half. So to clear it, we raise it uh, to its reciprocal. So this will be t power 2 equal to 2x plus a half power a half, but the whole of it squared, which gives me t squared equal to 2x plus 1. Then you're ready to differentiate. At this level, 2t dt is equal to the derivative of 2x is 2. And when you differentiate x, you get 1, but we are respecting x. Remember, the derivative of constant 1 is 0. Uh, right now, I have a common constant, both sides. Uh, uh, dear viewer, we have a common constant, both sides, which is uh, 2. I go back to my expression I'm dealing with which is not containing a 2 where dx is so clear that 2, if you're careful, you will have uh, dt, dt equal to dx. In integrals where we have limits of a kind, it's always important to change limits. So now, whenever you finish in such kind of a level, you may go to changing limits because after all, these limits we have currently are for the variable in question, which is x, and we have introduced a new variable t, so we must, we must change variables. So uh, we are changing, we are changing from x to t. The limits of x were negative 3 over 8 to 0. So we want to get the corresponding limits for t with respect to those of x. However, we have it in the control that this t, the t is equal to the square root of 2x plus 1. So in that context, to get t, you substitute the corresponding value of x. So when x is negative 3 over 8, what is t? t will be the square root of 2 times negative 3 over 8 plus 1, which is the square root of uh, negative 3 over 4 plus 1. Uh, 1 minus 3 over 4, you all agree with me that that is a quarter, that gives me a half. So this is a half. Then when it is a 0, t will be the square root of 2, 2 into 0 plus 1. That is when x is 0. And t gives me the square root of 0 plus 1, which is the square root of 1. They are giving us a 1. So in that order, I take this to be 1. So uh, the original statement, the original statement which was the integral from negative 3 over 8 to 0 of x plus 3 out of the square root of 2x plus 1 dx now becomes, that integral now becomes the integral where we have negative 3 over 8, we are now using the 
limit of t which is a half where we have zero we use the t limit which is one and where i have x where i have x i'm going to use the statement here if you're careful uh, you will agree with me that in terms of t my x is equal to uh, t squared minus 1 out of 2. I check it out. t squared, t squared minus 1 out of 2 is the x statement. So up here, with that statement of x up here, where there is x, I replace that with the t squared minus 1 out of 2 plus 3. And where I have square root of 2x plus 1, I already abbreviated it this way as t. That is our denominator. Now, what is the dx? We have dx uh, slightly bit. We have dx. We have dx. We have dx as the dx. We have it as t dt. And you are ready. Uh, to evaluate. So when this t is reduced, we have a clear statement to handle. So this will be the integral from uh, a half, from a half, from a half to one of t squared minus one over two plus three. The denominator terms cancel. We are remaining with the t. Uh, clear that with the LCM. The integral from a half to one over t squared minus one plus two times three is a six over two. The all of this with respect to t. So uh, what we have currently is what we have currently is the integral from a half to one over a half out, and we have t squared plus 5 dt. So when you integrate that a half, you will get t cubed over 3 plus 5t from a half to 1. And it progressively insert limits a half into a third plus 5 minus. When you put the upper limit, you get 1 over 8 times 3, which gives you 1 over 24 plus a 5 over 2 uh, using the lower limit. And when you evaluate that, the final answer you get is uh, the result that we expected in the previous attempt I left you with. Final answer on evaluation here gives you the final state. Now, we uh, want to open up a new subsection of integration 2 and the, that subsection we are going to call it Function and derivative. Uh, many authors call it recognition of a function. Many authors, it's where they say that uh, this is recognition of a function and its derivative, or recognizing a function and derivative. But you will briefly call it function and derivative, which applies the change of variable in the next episode.